Hello and welcome back to my channel where I'm sharing hints, tips and tricks on how to make home recording easy. In this video we're going to look at making MIDI connections. It's all about how to connect your MIDI keyboard or digital piano to your computer whether you've got a PC, a Mac or an iPad so that you can then use any MIDI software whether it's an app on your iPad music production software, some kind of door, or piano learning software, score writing software, whatever you want to do, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your keyboard is correctly connected to your computer. So that's what we're going to look at. So let's start out with this scenario, that your keyboard has got traditional MIDI ports like this. Now if that's the case, then on a PC or Mac you've basically got two options to connect up to your computer. So the first thing to do is to purchase a USB MIDI interface like this one. Now this is a relatively cheap way of going about things and make sure by the way that you buy a decent branded one. There are lots of very cheap ones on the market that tend to work for a few goes and then fail. So the one I use is a Roland. Uh, always, I'd, I'd buy a decent brand if I were you and then it's very quick and easy to connect up to your computer. And the only disadvantage really of this method is that you can only use it for this one purpose which is making a MIDI connection. So your other option is to purchase an audio interface that has got MIDI ports on it. And then all you need are two MIDI cables and you can easily then connect your keyboard up to your computer via USB, if it's a USB interface, or maybe Thunderbolt if you've bought a Thunderbolt interface and got Thunderbolt ports. The disadvantage of this method is obviously it's going to cost you more but the advantage is you can also use that audio interface to make audio recordings, whether you want to connect mics or whether you want to actually record the sound of your keyboard as well. So that's the other way that you can go about connecting your keyboard to your Mac or PC. If you've got an iPad and you have got a keyboard with these traditional MIDI ports, then there are basically four main ways that you can go about connecting up. So scenario one is like the Mac and the PC, you buy a USB MIDI interface and you use it with one of these powered USB adapters. That works very well. Again, it's cheap and cheerful. Obviously, I'm <laughs> with the caveat that you buy a decent branded interface again and make sure it is one that says it will work on an iPad. This Roland one definitely specifies that it will work on an iPad, but you use it with a camera connection kit like so and it is very straightforward. After that, you can use any MIDI apps that you like Scenario two is like the second scenario with the computers. You use an interface that's got MIDI input and output and then you use it with a powered USB adapter. It's very important that the adapter that you use, by the way, does allow you to connect power to it as well as a USB port because it won't power the interface on its own. So you need to have it plugged in. You simply connect everything up and the iPad will work seamlessly as long as the interface works with Mac Core Audio, which 99% of them do, then this is another easy route. Obviously it's gonna cost you a bit more, but again, you've got the versatility of being able to make recordings, audio recordings, as well as the MIDI connection. Another option for your iPad is actually to buy a MIDI interface specifically designed for iPad. Something like the iRig MIDI 2 or the iConnect, that comes with lightning cable as well. So you don't have to have that camera adapter. You just uh, connect straight up to your iPad. So all you'd need then for the iRig MIDI 2 would be a set of MIDI leads, but with the iConnect interface, you wouldn't even need that. It connects directly from your iPad into the MIDI ports in the back of your keyboard. So that's the third option. Or the fourth option, is to buy an audio and MIDI interface that's been designed for iPad and will connect directly to it. So for example, the iRig Duo or the Korg plug key, they act as audio interfaces so you can do recording and they've also got MIDI as well. So you just need a MIDI lead and again, you can just connect straight up from your MIDI ports to your iPad. So that is what you do if you have got a keyboard 
with traditional MIDI ports only. However, more and more keyboards have a USB port and in that case it is much easier to make the MIDI connection because all you need is the correct USB lead for the port on your keyboard and hook it straight up to your Mac or PC. Very easy. So all you need is to make sure you buy the right USB lead that goes with your keyboard and then you can plug it into your computer. Now if you had an iPad or you've got an iPad you can do the same thing with the camera adapter. Again powered is important because the power you need to supply the power to the iPad otherwise you might get one of those your iPad has insufficient power to power this device which you don't want. So very cheap and cheerful again just need a USB lead and the right adapter if you're using your iPad. Another option for iPads is the Voca MIDI cable which is a MIDI to lightning connector and that goes straight from the USB port on your keyboard to the lightning input on your iPad. So that is another cheap way of making that connection if you've got a USB enabled keyboard. I should mention at this point that more and more keyboards are being sold with the USB port and it actually acts as an audio interface as well so it might be worth checking what you can do with your USB port. It's going to be depending on your keyboard and you'll have to check the manual for your keyboard. But here we're just talking about really making MIDI connections and so that Voca MIDI cable would do the job and that is pretty inexpensive. And we come on to a third scenario where you have a Bluetooth keyboard and this is becoming more and more popular. So the latest keyboard I've just bought, which is a Roland Go Piano, has got Bluetooth. It's fantastic because you just literally search for the Bluetooth device and you're connected wirelessly. So that is a very easy option and it is great to be wireless, but it does depend on you having a Bluetooth keyboard. But if you were thinking of buying the keyboard, it might be something you might want to look out for because it is just so easy to connect and it saves you having wires everywhere in your studio. That is MIDI connection in a nutshell. And once you've got yourself connected, you'll be able to use GarageBand, score writing software, music theory, lessons and apps, virtual instruments. You'll be able to use your door for music production. So enjoy. And as always, if you've got any questions, then please ask them below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful and if you did, please do like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, don't forget to post them below. And if you want to get more of my tips and tricks on home recording, then please do subscribe to the channel. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.